Mastercam 2022 now supports steady rests in mill turn machines. Let's take a look at the process of how to set up a turret mounted steady rest and how to integrate it into the component library of a machine file. Let's open our machine file in Code Expert. In the Machine Explorer panel, right click and open the metric component library. This will open a new session of Mastercam and bring us right into the machine definition window. Before we can edit anything in the machine definition window, we must first import the geometry of the steady rest. Let's click OK for now. We can use File Merge to bring the steady rest geometry into this Mastercam file. Note the placement of the solid body in relation to the coordinate system origin. In this case, the mounting position of the steady rest is the intersection of the plane created by this face and the axis of the center shoulder bolt. This model also includes a piece of wireframe geometry as a reference for the center of part rotation. Reopen the machine definition window by clicking machine definition inside the job setup group on the machine tab. We can now begin the process of integrating this model into the component library. For now, let's set the steady rest as a component in the lower turret. Right click on the lower turret and select add component steady rest. We now see the steady rest setup page. Note how the subcomponents field already has an entry. This slot is for the base of the steady rest. Before we define the main body, let's define the smaller moving components. This will make the selection process for the smaller components a bit easier. To configure an arm, select Add Arm. Before we select the solid, toggle these checkboxes. We can now select our first arm from the graphics area. Once the arm is defined, we must define the center of rotation by clicking here. For this model steady rest, let's say the arm can travel 50 degrees from its open position at a feed rate of 50 degrees per minute. It is important that the original model of the steady rest is imported with the arms in their fully opened position for these values to be accurate. We can repeat the same process for the second arm. Now let's add a piston. Check the two boxes and select the component from the graphics area. Again, this component is shown in its fully open position in our model. Let's say the max travel distance from the open position is 2 inches and that it will close at a rate of 50 inches per minute. The angle from the positive y-axis field can remain zero here because this particular machine has a true orthogonal y-axis on its lower turret. If we were setting up the upper turret, we'd enter 180 degrees. If the machine was a slant bed, we'd enter a corresponding value somewhere in between. This field sets the direction of piston travel. Now we can set up the base of the steady rest. Select the top entry in the subcomponents field. In this case, we only want to take the color from the solid body and not the name. Let's select the solid body from the graphics area. Finally, we can define the program center point by selecting the center point of the circle shown on level 5. Enter a square 25.4 millimeter collision avoidance boundary. On the next tab, we can define which index position the steady rest is mounted on. For this example, let's say it's mounted in turret position 2. Since this steady rest consumes the neighboring positions, we can disable positions 1 and 3, keeping them from being used elsewhere in our setup. Click OK, then click Save back in the machine definition window. These changes currently only exist inside the component library, so now we need to save the machine file. Click inside the Machine Explorer window and click the Save button. Our machine file has now been successfully configured with a steady rest, and we are ready to get programming.